everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be doing a review on this eyeshadow palette and I have mentioned this in my what's new in Korean beauty and my wish list for I think last month which I'll put it up here for you guys to check out and basically I'm trying to just collect items that I can get um, from my wish list but at the moment it's on pause and I was lucky to actually get this before the whole lockdown anyway back to this palette this palette actually comes in four different um, variety or different shades and I mentioned in that video I wanted a purple one because I love purple and also second I want to try something else out of my comfort zone because I always go for like brown shades or even like grey tone shades just warm shades and I thought trying this purple one will be different I've only tried the mini um, eyeshadows from like the single eyeshadows from Aritam and I've loved them because they are very buttery and they are affordable as well the price for this one where I got it from is actually I think 30% off so the price is about 16 USC dollars which I think is a decent price for nine eyeshadows in here so if you divide it by that it's about less than two dollars for each shadow which is about the same price as the single um, eyeshadow from Aritam as well now in this colors you can see it has a variety of purple colors and actually on this four here it has four glitter shades um, two shimmers and three matte now the difference between the shimmer and the glitter I've noticed with this is that obviously the four glitter shade is much more glittery and you can't really see the base color so what i mean is more like if you see this light purple here you don't really see the light purple when you apply on your lid but you see more of the sparkles like the white and the purpley same with the pink colors you don't really see much of the under base color but compared to like this shimmer shade which is the two purple undertone brown color you see more of that brown undertone but you see a little bit of shimmer which is much more better to apply on the outer part rather than the glitter because the glitter it just doesn't look well for the outer part or for like you know the um, crease a um, the yeah the crease area is it yeah but it's more nicer for like a base or just like a little pop of color so in the middle of my eyes right now i am using this purpley shade here which is i don't know what this is because it's in korean but yeah so i honestly do love this colors i mean the only unfortunate thing for me is that i feel that there's not um, a nice matte shade that I can sort of really use for the outer part even though I said the shimmer you can use for the outer part just because my preference if I want to have like a nice smoky eye look or like just a nice contrast I also I really like using matte undertone brown undertone shade to apply on the outer part because I don't want to see any shimmer on the outside but I managed to play around with this and the turnout of this is really nice I did film a makeup look which I absolutely love which I'll show in the end for you guys as well but honestly I've already played with most of these colors and I do have to say um, they are pretty pigmented and with my eyeshadow look I also um, did not use any eyelid primer same with this one I did not use any primer because I wanted to see how pigmented it is without a primer and honestly the payoff is actually a decent payoff and you know what I've also paired this eyeshadow colors with green eye con contact lens which is very subtle right now this is the Olen Scandi Olive and it looks really nice I also paired with a grey contact lens which I thought was really good as well so I can only imagine what it would be like for any other eye contact imagine purple and a purple maybe that's a little bit too much but I honestly love the colors here I think my least favorite will be this pink just because I don't really suit pink color but I love this champagne pink I love this two shimmery brown purple shade because you can see it's brown but it's also purple undertone as well and this mauvey purple oh my god this matches my top guys like so overall, I love the combo of all of these colors. It's definitely very, very unique. However, I'm sure you guys will be like, wait, this reminds me of another eyeshadow palette that I know. And this actually reminds me of my Etude House La Veta Land um, eyeshadow palette here, which have 10 colors here compared to 
the nine pen from Aritam. So what I'll be do, what I'll do as well is by the end of this review, I will also show you guys like a comparison of these two. And let me tell you, there's not really much similarity with the E2 House Lavender Land. It focuses quite a bit of those brown shade and then some purple shade. But this one, you can see how they all sort of relate to each other, and they all have that purple theme or like that pink theme. This one, it has like a combo of like purple, brown. Um, champagne um, like golden color here and even like an orangey shade so it's a bit like jumbled up even though I love this eyeshadow palette a lot but this one you can see there is a theme to it for this one I feel this is more like a night out party um, funky like what to say midnight funk this is more like a nighttime eyeshadow look with the Etude House one you can play around the colors and make it look like daytime as well but also nighttime so it's a little bit more versatile but if you guys are the type that love to wear pop of color during the daytime by all means I think this will suit you but for me this eyeshadow palette I would definitely just use it during nighttime just because I feel like this would just suit me more during nighttime. I mean, I can use like possibly the brown, just two brown shades for a daytime look, but I don't think I really grab this out for daytime, you know what I mean? But I'll definitely use this for nighttime because it would just make my whole look just pull all together. You know what I mean? So overall, I'm actually really happy with this. And honestly, this feels really, really lightweight. And yeah, I don't regret choosing this out of the other three eyeshadow palettes that they have honestly i do recommend this one if you guys are looking for something different without further ado i'm gonna show you guys my comparisons and also an eyeshadow look So we're going to take the first color, which is the light mauve lilac purple and apply this all over the base as like the base color. And then we're going to go over with the bottom left color, which is the mauve brown matte color and apply this on the fluffy brush and apply this all over the crease to deepen up the crease area and using the window wiping motion. And then we're going to use a darker color, which is the shimmery middle shade. And what I'm doing is I'm just applying this on the half end of my lid area and just slowly just smoothing it up the outer part and also slowly just going back and forth and then applying the rest on the bottom lash line as well. And then after that, going with the darkest shade in this palette with a pencil brush and applying this on the outer part of the lid space as well making sure that you don't cover up the period shade from before and just taking your time with this to deepen up the edges at the end and then applying on the lower lash line we then take a cotton bud and just clean up any of the harsh edges or yeah in the corner and just make it sharper and then the next part is actually using the pinky and apply this beautiful shimmery purpley shade on the front lid or the yeah front half of the lid area and taking your time with this i absolutely love the shimmery shade and then applying the same shade on the bottom beginning part of the lash line as well and then eyeliner mascara and fake lashes and this eye look is done super easy beautiful look you can see the purple you can see the brown so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison with the E2 House Lavender Land and also my eyeshadow look. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you have any questions about this eyeshadow palette, definitely put it down below and I'll put down the link where I got this eyeshadow palette from as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!